In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create various types of rectangles in a 2D sketch. We're in a blank part workspace here. So the first thing that we need to do, like usual, is to enter into sketch mode. Let's select the plane by left clicking and activate 2D sketch. We can see that our rectangles live right next to the line tool. There's three types. We have rectangle, which is just a two corner rectangle. We have a three corner rectangle, which is used to make rectangles at an angle. And then we have rectangle by center. Let's start at the top. We'll left click the rectangle tool. And we can see that the cursor changes such that the rectangle tool is active. So like the line tool, the way that you're gonna create a rectangle is to first left click somewhere and then move the mouse. And we can see that we get this real time preview. And when we're satisfied, we will just click the mouse again. And we see that the rectangle has been created. Now with the regular rectangle tool, uh, a feature of this particular tool is that it's used to create rectangles that are left and right and up and down. And the way that it does this is by automatically applying vertical constraints to the vertical lines and horizontal constraints to the horizontal ones. So if you were to move this rectangle around, it's always going to maintain the property of being a rectangle and of being vertical and horizontal. The next type of rectangle we can make is a rectangle by three corners. And this one, unlike the last one, will require three clicks to complete. We'll start the rectangle with a left click. We'll create the first angled line. We'll end it with a second click. And now we can move out and create depth with a third click. Unlike the regular rectangle, which creates horizontal and vertical constraints, this rectangle creates perpendicular constraints. And as a result, uh, you can move this rectangle around at an angle uh, if properly constrained. The last kind of a rectangle is a rectangle by center. And as the name suggests, we can create the center point of this rectangle by left clicking, and then we can move the mouse to create the rectangle. A lot of times the center point of your rectangle is going to be the origin, and you can certainly click on that uh, when it highlights blue to indicate you're hovering over it, and then click to release. When you create a rectangle by center, you'll notice that we have perpendicular constraints applied instead of horizontal and vertical constraints. And much like the rectangle by center tool, since we don't have vertical and horizontal constraints applied, there are some scenarios where this might be able to rotate. So a good idea when creating a rectangle by center, if you want it to always be horizontal and vertical, is just to add either a vertical or a horizontal constraint. So let's click horizontal in this case, and we'll just select any line. And there we go. So now this is always going to act uh, left and right and up and down. And we don't have to do the vertical because these perpendicular constraints take care of that for us. Dimensioning a rectangle is exactly the same as dimensioning lines. We'll select the dimension tool, and then the easiest dimension to make is just the length of the line. So let's left click a line, we'll place the dimension, and we'll type a value and press enter. We've defined this line in terms of its total length, but we could also define things using nodes. So for example, we could select this node and this node, and we'll see that by default, kind of in the middle, the dimension is uh, kind of a straight line dimension. But if we kind of move the mouse a little bit, we can get either a, a vertical or a horizontal dimension. So in our case, we want it to be a vertical dimension, and we'll maybe say it's four. And we can see now that the sketch is fully defined. Nothing will move or rotate or get bigger or smaller. Everything is black, and this is what we want. In this lesson, we've covered creating three types of rectangles. Regular rectangle, rectangle by three corners, and rectangle by center. We've also covered creating dimensions for rectangles. The concept that for a center rectangle, you might wanna put a horizontal or a vertical constraint on it just to keep it up and down or left and right. The notion that we can move rectangles by selecting nodes or lines. And then finally, deleting a rectangle is as simple as selecting all of it and pressing delete. 